Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today we are going to see one of the most commonly used VFX for games. It's used in almost every type of game, especially in shooters, RPGs and fighting games. Also, we will use decals to create these nice surface marks on the ground. This tutorial will be divided into two parts. We will start creating a nice impact effect using the Godot's particle system and then we will create a mark effect using the decals feature in Godot. So here we are in Godot. Let's go ahead and create a new GPU particle system. And we don't see anything because in order for this particle to work, we need to do two things first. First, we need to go to the process material and create a new particle process material. And then, we need to assign a mesh. I will pick a new quad mesh. As you can see, now we have a lot of particles falling down. This is because of the gravity, so let's go to accelerations and set the gravity to zero. I also want to use a single particle, so let's set the amount to 1. Awesome! Now, let's go here into geometry and assign a new material for this particle. New shader material. We can create a new shader. I will use a visual shader. Name this, for example, simple shader. Let's open the shader. Oh, by the way, let's go to Flax and enable the unshaded option here. Awesome. I also would like this particle to always look at the camera. So in order to do that, let's go to the vertex option. Right click and create a new billboard matrix, set it to particles. So now the particles are always facing the camera. Cool. Let's go back to fragment and create a new color, color fragment. I also want to use the alpha and we also need a texture so right click and look for a texture to the parameter put this in color mode and we can name it for example heat texture let's sample this So now we can, oh, by the way, I will use mostly black and white textures. So I just need a single channel. Let's multiply the texture with the alpha of the color. And that's it for the shader. A color and a texture. That's it. Let's close this. Now if we go to the particle system in the material option, here we can assign a heat texture. Let's see, for example, this one. Maybe this. Okay, I like this. This is perfect. By the way, I will leave the links in the description so you can download these textures. Now we can customize our particle. Let's go back to the particle system. Let's go to the spawn option. I want this to have a random angle between minus 180 and 180. I also want to go to the scale option and have a random scale with a value between 0.8 and 1.5. We can create a new curve 
and control the size of the particle using this curve. I want this to start big and then go small. Perfect. Now we can go to the color curves, create a new color ramp, enable HDRI. With this, we can use very strong, intense colors. So enable this, this is important. And we can set a raw color with a value of 8, 0 0.8 and 0. And at the end of the particle, we can set a value, for example, of 1, 0 0.5 and 0 0.2. So it goes from yellow to orange. Perfect. Also, in the alpha curve, we can control the transparency of the particle with a curve. So let's create a new curve here. And I want this particle to be transparent at the beginning and at the end. Perfect. Maybe this is very slow. So let's set a time here, for example, of 0 0.25 and set the explosiveness to 1. So now we have this amazing particle hit impact. We can also experiment with different textures. Let's go here. Let's try, for example, this one. And this will be perfect, for example, for a fighting game. But for now, I want to use this particle. Finally, we can go ahead and create a new GPU particle system. We can name this one Sparks. Also, in order to keep everything organized, I will create a new node 3D and put all my particles inside this node. Let's also reset the transform of this particle. So now everything is inside this node 3D. We can also name this Heat VFX. Cool. So let's go to the Sparks particle system and create a new particle process material. Also create a new quad mesh for this. And I would like the quad mesh to be small for these particles. So let's set the size, for example, of 0 0.05 and 0 0.3. This is falling down, so let's disable the gravity. Let's go to accelerations, put the gravity to zero. Instead of gravity, I will use a velocity. So go to spawn, velocity. This velocity will go up into the Y axis with a speed of 180 and a velocity between 8 and 12. Also, we can set the time to 0 0.25 seconds and the explosiveness to 1. Oh, by the way, I want these particles to be aligned with the velocity. So let's go to particle flags and set align y to on. Awesome. Now we only need to add a new material. So let's go to geometry and create a new shader material. And we can use the simple shader we created. Oh, wait, no. We, this shader is always facing the camera, so we cannot use this. Uh, you know what? Let's duplicate this shader with Ctrl D. And in this shader too, I will go back to Vertex and set this to Disable. Also, we can go to Modes and set this to Disable, the cool mode, so it's double-sided. And yeah, that's it. Now we can use the simple shader 2 in the sparks.
let's go to the material shader parameters and assign a texture here maybe this one cool let's put a color set a color with a raw value of for example 2.5 2 and 0 0.5 Also, for the scale, set this to have a random scale between 0 0.3 and 0 0.5. Oh, by the way, I want to control the transparency. So let's create a curve. I would like this particle to start without transparency and then go full transparent. So that's it for the particles. With this, the heat impact is completed. Well, almost completed. Now we only need to add a surface mark and synchronize everything together using the animation player. Let's create a new decal. Here we can assign a texture. I will pick the default Godot texture for now. And decals can adapt to any kind of surface, as you can see. We can also rotate it and use it in walls and so on. Also, if we go here and activate view gizmos, we can here control the size of the decal. This is perfect, for example, for bullet marks, explosion marks, for the blood, when an enemy, you hit an enemy and it spreads blood you can create a new blood texture on the wall using decals cool so for this decal we can use this ground mark texture and let's move the decal inside the heat vfx and reset the position of the decal oh okay we have a problem the decal is overlaying the sparks as well. So in order to fix this, we can go to Cool Mask in the decal and we can say, for example, to don't affect the objects inside the layer number three. Now we can put the particles in the layer three. Excellent. Also, we have another problem. As you can see here, the more we go out from the surface, it disappears. So let's go to vertical fade and move these curves. We have another problem. Let me move the particles closer to the surface so you can see it. Yeah, as you can see here, the particles are intercepting the surface with this hard edge. But don't worry. All we need to do is to go to the shader. Simple shader, number one. And create a proximity fade node. And multiply this with the alpha of the texture. And now the closer the object is to the surface, it disappears, it fades. Let's put a value here of 0 0.2. Finally, to keep everything organized, let's convert this heat VFX to a new scene and open the scene here we have our particles and the decal we don't see the decal because we don't have any surface so for now I will create a new box so we can see the decal go to the heat effect and I want to, this to be one shot 
I will do the same for the sparks. Let's set this to one shot. Also, we can set this to have more particles. For example, 25. Let's see. Click. Click. Yeah, I like this. And let's create an animation player. I will use this animation player to coordinate the hit and the decal effect. Create a new animation. For this animation, first I want to key this emit option in the hit effect, also in the spark. And I want the sparks and the hit effects to be enabled at the beginning. Press play so you can see the sequence. Now let's go to the decal. Let's go to parameters and move this here and key this. Albedo mix into zero and then maybe over here we can set this to one key and it stays for a moment and then it disappears goes back to zero we can set this animation Time to 0 0.7. Let's play. We can also, for example, add a sound here. Set this to auto play. So when this is instantiated in the scene, it plays automatically this animation. Perfect. Let's delete this box. So that's it. Now all you need to do is preload this scene into a script. So every time a character hits a surface or a bullet hits a surface, it detects the collision and instantiate these particles. Be creative. Try using different textures. Play with the particle system properties change the color, change the velocity, add some more stuff so you can get the perfect impact effect for your game.